Coming up on Society TV, Look Good, Feel Better celebrates a milestone. And mark your calendar for a big party on September 5th. Details coming up. Bringing you the latest news from across the American Cancer Society, this is Society TV. Hi, I'm Renee Walter, and here are your top stories. The Society is remembering one of its brightest luminaries, Gordy Klatt, the founder of Relay for Life. He passed away on August 3rd from congestive heart failure after battling stomach cancer. It was 30 years ago that Gordy, a colorectal surgeon, ran 83 miles around a track in Tacoma, Washington for 24 hours. He raised $27,000 in tribute to a young patient who died of cancer. His passion to end cancer was contagious. Relay events have since spread to 23 countries around the world, raising $5 billion to fight cancer. Hundreds of people have posted their condolences on Gordy's Relay for Life memorial page. Julie Jackson Fountain from Castro Valley, California wrote, Gordy, you gave us a meaningful, tangible way to fight back against cancer. With your leadership, you took a seed and grew a world of change. The Klatt family has asked that memorial donations be made to the Gordy Klatt Pay If Research Endowment Fund, which supports cancer research. Visit RelayForLife.org to post your comments and to make a donation. The Surgeon General is calling skin cancer a major public health problem. About 5 million people are treated for skin cancer each year, and that number is rising. The Surgeon General has issued his first ever plan of action to decrease the risk of skin cancer. It calls for more shaded areas at schools, parks, and other public places, reduces indoor tanning, and provides more consumer education. Visit cancer.org for more information on the report and resources to keep you and your family healthy. Look Good, Feel Better is celebrating 25 years of giving women confidence. Thousands of survivors and volunteers attended local parties to watch the anniversary celebration at the National Women's Survivors Convention in Nashville. Participants took their photos and pink boa frames to show the face of the program, which has helped more than 900,000 women since it started. Look Good, Feel Better has several initiatives this anniversary year, including a virtual makeover tool where women can try on different looks. Visit lookgoodfeelbetter.org for more information. If you missed a Look Good, Feel Better party, don't miss out on Stand Up to Cancer. The Society is hosting 200 viewing parties across the nation for the telecast to kick off this exciting new partnership. Our first project will be a $20 million research dream team focused on more effective lung cancer therapies. The four major broadcast networks are donating an hour of commercial free television to air the star studded event on September 5th. So visit standuptofinishthefight.org to join the party closest to you. The Corporate Center came together for its Making Strides Against Breast Cancer kickoff event. Sherry Henning, EVP of the South Atlantic Division, captured the spirit of the event in this iPhone report. With me is Linda Davidson. She's usually all dressed in purple, but as you can see, she is rocking the pink just like all of us today. So Linda, why'd you turn in your purple and put on some pink today? It was time for pink, trying to find a cure for breast cancer, and hope that my daughters never hear those words have cancer. Before we go, let's hear from a few employees here at Corporate Center and the South Atlantic Division. We asked them how Gordy Klatt inspired them in their work. I got to meet Dr. Klatt um, for about 15 minutes at our 100th birthday celebration um, last May in 2013. Um, I actually do have a photo that I keep on my phone for inspiration on those really hard days when we're doing 16 hours in the middle of relay season. He truly is relay, and so not having him um, gives us all more the reason to fight harder than ever um, and be one American Cancer Society and find a cure. To me he is and always will be the face of Relay for Life. I've, when I was doing the survivor's lap at the Springs Relay here in Atlanta, I was thinking about him and the Relay movement and it's just amazing to me to think that he and Pat Flynn and a few other people started a movement with just a handful of people Meeting Gordy was very special to me, and he inspired me to be better at what I do because of uh, what he has done for Relay for Life and, and what he had continued to do for Relay for Life in terms of his um, contribution to getting this started. 
and until the end, he will do relay Earth. Society TV is a production of your American Cancer Society and may not be reproduced or rebroadcast without expressed written permission.